Thermometer says 74. Clock says 747. 747. <laughs> How about once? Once in a lifetime. Once in a lifetime weather happens somewhere just about every day last 24 hours have been pretty extraordinary in the entire eastern United States. Oh, it's getting windy. I have to try and hide from the wind. Let's start off with the drone video that's making headlines nationally. Weather Channel, I think maybe Jim Cantori came up with it, called Jeffrey Baker's drone video, a scud NATO scud cloud that low cloud that forms really quickly going up into a rotating thunderstorm not a tornado but a cloud that's swirling for a little bit of a different reason i can't stop thinking about this video earlier in the day jeffrey baker had made a time lapse and you can see the clouds moving from right to left he's at sugarloaf mountain looking to the west so that air was coming from the north we had a, a backdoor cold front come into northern New England back on Sunday. And the cooler air made it all the way into the Boston area and the northern portion of the Pioneer Valley, the Connecticut River. So yesterday we had a backdoor cold front with slightly cooler air from southeastern Canada at low levels of the atmosphere, undermining a subtropical warm front very warm, humid, tropical air coming up from the south. So air from northern Quebec met air from Florida over Massachusetts yesterday. Time out. Let's look at the cardinal. That's not... Yep, there's the cardinal singing. We've also got a catbird singing. We've got a T-Rex right behind me, I think. Okay, back to the weather. Extraordinary night last night. You know, I talk about diurnal thunderstorms. That's when they form due to the heating of the day. And that's when you don't generally have a front around. But we had a good front coming in all up and down the Appalachian Trail yesterday, Appalachian Mountains. And that generated nocturnal convection. Thunderstorms may have formed during the day, but they kept going and got stronger during the night. 2.05 a.m., severe weather in Rhode Island. Foster Gloucester, trees down. 2.25 a.m., Burrowville, trees down, verifying severe weather in the middle of the night. Mark Garfinkel capturing a lightning bolt. He says, it was right over my house. I was in bed. A plane, contrail going through there, lightning in the sky. That's all the sky. Thank you, Mark, for sharing that. Right where that cardinal was just sitting, now we have a catbird. <laughs> and this morning, Joe Kidston, says wild sky in Hingham. Got a sun dog. Those are ice crystals up in the sky, refracting sunlight. Nocturnal thunderstorms on Cape Cod this morning. Another two and a half inches of rain in South Dennis. It was 2.9 on Saturday, two Saturdays ago. So just from two morning convection systems, Actually, that Saturday, two Saturdays ago was the afternoon, wasn't it? But anyhow, close to six inches of rain on Cape Cod. Didn't I make fun of a forecast that had six inches of rain on Cape Cod? About two weeks ago. Well, it would have been 10 days ago with the Euro. So the Euro, as content weather guy Phil says, you know, the models can be right, but the day-to-day -day weather is wrong. So the model was right a week ago with that backdoor front. Just didn't have the place and the timing correct. And also, the model that had the tropical plume of moisture coming up a week ago yesterday, the Euro, had the mo tropical moisture coming up, but then it kind of lost it. So we are definitely in play-by-play -play mo mode. So this morning's thunderstorms are done. The upper level low is coming over us, so there are a chance for more thunderstorms today. The isobars are getting tighter, the black lines on the afternoon map today. And so that means the pressure gradient is tighter, so that means a stronger wind today. So it's going to be from the south. Uh, gusting 25 to 30 miles an hour. You can see those boints, boats pointed toward me right now. So a windy day with more showers and thunderstorms. The upper level low is going to be here today, tomorrow. Tomorrow's Wednesday. Thursday, we start to see the temperature and the dew point separate a little bit greater. So uh, we are very sticky until then. And then the nicer weather should come in here 
Friday and Saturday. As for the remnant of Cindy and our front that goes offshore Thursday into Friday, looks like Cindy does try and regenerate a little bit heading for Nova Scotia, but more importantly there on the left, subtropical low pressure going across our benchmark on Sunday afternoon. Are you kidding me? That could be more tropical downpours with a wind from the northeast, but with a 576 thickness, that is subtropical air, a wave on a warm front and subtropical air. That's where you get your heaviest rain. So even though it's not everybody all the time, when it's raining, it is pouring and we've had flash flooding. I think we have another flash flood threat, but I can't say where over the next day or two and then it relaxes and then more flash flood threat Sunday. And finally, July 4th or 3rd and 4th, it looks like we're gonna get a flatter flow from the west. So that should be summertime warmth and less humid with only a slight chance of showers and thunderstorms, but we don't see any day with no chance. Fit a lot in here. Mount Washington now passing 15 and a half inches of rain. I think that's the second, third wettest June on record. We already set the record for snowiest June on record. So once in a lifetime weather, all this rain on Cape Cod in June without a named tropical storm, once in a lifetime weather. Those boats all lined up right that, right there perfectly. Once in a lifetime video. <laughs> Kidding. Uh, but that happens all the time. Oh yeah, and the bear. There's not just one bear. The bear was, two bears were spotted in the last two days, one in Hingham and another in Marshfield. There's the Marshfield bear. So we have a couple of bears on the South Shore. A bear of a weather pattern, a bear of a forecast. And let's check the weather stick. It's pointing down. I'm gonna leave you with some maritime from yesterday. Maritime being the ships going by, really fun. People seem to like that. And I guess I could talk a little bit about my rather expensive tomato cages. Those things are almost $8 a piece. But you gotta splurge. You know, we spent a lot of money taking care of our gardens, even though we could probably get tomatoes for less than one of those cages. The peas and the dill doing great. Oh yeah, you gotta check. I pruned those roses yesterday. Don't they look better? You can get uh, several rounds of roses per season if you prune them. Oh, wow. I didn't think it was that much. 0.78 in the gauge. So I'm passing, I don't know, seven inches for the month of June. Hope you're doing as well in the rainfall department, but also getting some sunshine and enjoying your summertime weather. That was a time-lapse feature on the iPhone, which I've never really used before. I usually make a video and then I fast forward it a whole bunch. Like that, using my iMovie. What is on that ship? Barge. Is a ship a barge? Is a barge a ship? It's big. It's carrying big things. Created a little bit of a traffic jam too. There's another boat out there being very patient. Wonder if they're together. You guys together? That's another tug that I have not seen before. I don't recognize that one. Not that I'm a tugologist or anything. Is there a tugologist in the house? Maybe you could get some binoculars and read the signs. I got the binoculars out. The barge is... F-O-S-S, -S, prevailing wind. Seattle, Washington. The tug is Justice. That tug is Michelle, or Michelle? F-O-S-S. -S. So FOSS must be a conglomerate also out of Seattle, Washington. Did that infrastructure come all the way from Washington? Like through the Panama Canal? Cool. Doing a little more painting today. Yeah, I know it's risky behavior with these powerful towering cumulus clouds around, but that backdoor front made it to about Boston. That seemed to help generate the thunderstorms, which are moving south to north today. Drenching rains, New Hampshire, get out to New York and Pennsylvania, flash flooding, severe storms, and 
top of the hour here, there was a tornado warning over Ottawa, Ontario. Just threatening here. 86 degrees before this cloud came in. 445, a little tiny bit of Virga. Hull and Quincy. Andiamo. Andiamo. It's the no wake zone, you know. Remarkably, there's very little wake. Andiamo. It's Italian for let's go. Let's go. Maritime Monday. In the books. Well, not quite, but maybe I'm done making videos. I think we might have some smoke above the clouds.